Alrighty guys, we're down here at the Hoxton Park Technical Training Centre and we're going to show you what is going on here and how to use it and how to shut it down in case of emergency. So on the most southern dwelling, what we have is we have a two kilowatt SunGo string inverter. This is a dual MPPT inverter, which means it has two inputs. One is being utilized for our northern aspect. One is being utilized for our western aspect. Each roof face has three panels uh, and each roof face is its own string. When we're shutting down the string inverter, there is a shutdown procedure labeled on the front and it's really important to follow that procedure. So step one is to turn off the main switch inverter supply AC isolator. Now you can find that inside the switchboard or you can use the AC isolator adjacent to the inverter. So we'll turn that one off and here we have main switch inverter supply. That isolates the AC side of the inverter. Step two of shutting down any PV string inverter is turn off the PV array DC isolator located at the inverter. Most string inverters will have a PV array DC isolator connected to them. If they don't have one in built, you'll find it next to the string inverter. This particular string inverter here does have the PV array DC isolator in built, so we'll go ahead and turn that off. It's a 90 degree action. You'll always feel it click and just make sure it's off before working on the appliance. You would run your tests as well. Uh, but for now, we can safely assume that the inverter is shut down. And on this particular inverter, the screen is completely de-energized. Again, before working on the inverter, it is important to test to make sure the inverter is de-energized. To turn back on a DC string inverter, we follow the same procedure in the opposite direction. So firstly, we turn on the PV array DC isolator. And secondly, we turn on the inverter AC isolator and the inverter main switch. You'll see the screen come to life on most string inverters and it will usually take around 60 seconds for the inverter to synchronize the DC and the AC before generating. That is how we shut down a DC string inverter.